Science has taught us much about the continents, their history, and the role of continental drift in shaping our world. However, a significant geological event is currently underway, the formation of a new ocean in Africa. This phenomenon is occurring in Kenya's Great Rift Valley, attracting the attention of scientists and tourists alike. The Great Rift Valley has become a focal point for research due to its role in Africa's gradual division into two separate landmasses, a result of natural forces. Such an event has not been recorded for millions of years, with the last significant division occurring between South America and Africa. The division of the African continent became evident in 2005 when a 35-mile-long rift emerged in the Ethiopian desert. Scientists believe this process started long before 2005 and will ultimately lead to the continent splitting into two parts with an ocean between them. Geologists studying Africa's tectonic plates over time have confirmed that the continent's 54 countries are gradually splitting and will eventually form two separate landmasses. Kenya's Great Rift Valley, which stretches from northern Ethiopia through Mozambique, serves as the dividing line separating countries like Kenya, Somalia, Ethiopia, Mozambique, Tanzania, Eritrea, and Djibouti from the rest of Africa. This division of continents typically occurs due to the movement of tectonic plates, resulting in the separation of land through a process called rifting. Rifting is a phenomenon in which a tectonic plate breaks into two or more plates along a divergent plate boundary. It forms lowlands where the plates have broken apart, which can be seen on land or the ocean floor. This process led to the formation of the Red Sea in the past. Continents usually form from rifting at a gradual rate of a fraction of an inch per year. However, GPS tracking has revealed that Africa's landmasses are tearing apart much faster at approximately 7 millimeters per year. This movement could eventually provide landlocked countries like Uganda, Malawi, Rwanda, Burundi, Zambia, and the Democratic Republic of Congo with their own coastlines. Scientists have also discovered that active volcanoes in East Africa play a crucial role in the continental splitting. Examples of these active volcanoes include the ancient Old Lengai volcano in Tanzania and the Eludalafila in Ethiopia. These volcanoes offer valuable insights and information for studies on the continental split. The Erda Ale volcano in Ethiopia, another active East African volcano, has been continuously erupting for over 50 years, further contributing to this geological phenomenon. Geologists investigating the rift site have observed various underground activities that could contribute to the Earth's division. Scientists discovered the Victoria microplate, the largest microplate on Earth, situated between both sides of the rift, which has been rotating counterclockwise for more than two years. Understanding the formation, expansion, and movement of the world's oceans becomes clearer when one grasps the concepts of continental formation and drift. Seafloor spreading is a phenomenon within the continental drift theory that explains the ocean floor's expansion. When a divergent plate boundary splits apart and spreads out, volcanic activities allow for the formation of a new ocean floor where the split occurs. Tensional stress in the lithosphere causes splitting when ocean plates move away from each other. Driven by the force from tectonic plate slab, pull at subduction zones. Magma activity is typically high at seafloor ridges, and gravity causes non-subducting plates to slide off the elevated mid-ocean ridges in a process known as ridge push. Basaltic magma rises up the fractures at a spreading center and cools on the ocean floor, creating a new seabed. Generally, rocks formed from this process get older as one moves away from the spreading zone, while younger rocks are closer to the spreading zone. Christopher Moore, a PhD student at the University of Leeds in the UK, observed unusual tectonic transitions on top of a large volcano and anticipated vast changes in the area over the next 5 to 100 million years. Plate tectonics elevation changes can be observed from mountaintops today, but they were more significant to the past. The barren area in East Africa, bordering the Red Sea, is covered in lava from the Earth's rupture at the convergence of the Somali, Nubian, and Arabian tectonic plates. This trijunction forms a large, Y-shaped structure on the Earth's crust with the Red Sea, the Ethiopian Plateau, and Eritrea. The Great Rift Valley, which it forms, stretches over 4,000 miles into the heart of Africa to the south. The Aden Ridge, an oceanic ridge, 
stretches east, and the Red Sea extends northwest. These tectonic activities provide evidence that the African continent is undergoing a process of splitting apart. Today, someone standing on a mountaintop would only notice small changes. However, these changes would have been much more significant in the past when the land was bare. The area in East Africa covered in lava was created by the continental split at the triple junction where the Nubian, Somali, and Arabian tectonic plates intersect, adjacent to the sparsely populated Red Sea. For the past three decades, the Somali plate in East Africa has been gradually separating from the rest of the continent, leading to a rift valley in Ethiopia and Eritrea and dividing into the Kenya Rift before rejoining in the Malawi Rift. By examining the chain of lakes that line the bottom of the Great Rift Valley, such as Lakes Tanganyika and Nyasa, it's possible to trace the divided continent on a map. Meanwhile, the Arabian Plate has been pulling away from Africa as the Red Sea Rift expands by approximately one centimeter annually. The Arabian Plate will eventually halt after colliding with the Eurasian Plate in present-day Iran. Significant geological changes, including the formation of a new ocean basin and the continent's division, are the precursors of this event. The Afar region, situated at the center of these transformations, is being separated from Eurasia by the closing of the Persian Gulf. Prominent tectonic activity in this region has resulted in some of the world's largest volcanoes. Bimodal volcanism and explosive eruptions have emerged from the extensive basalt and silica lava flows overlaying the Great Rift Valley. East Africa hosts various types of volcanoes. Large basaltic shield volcanoes like Erda Al can be found towards the northern part of the Red Sea, while the south features the enormous Corbetti caldera in Ethiopia. Some of the most unpredictable volcanoes in the world are located in this area. Further into Africa, unusual sites such as the Old Oinyo Lengai volcano in Tanzania spew carbonatite. To the east of DR Congo are twin volcanoes Mayamarajara and Nyiragongo to the west. These volcanoes add to the active seismic activity beneath East Africa. The Afar region is a significant focal point for geological activity, possibly due to the Afar plume's heat from beneath. This plume caused the African continent to rise and break apart more than 80 million years ago, forming rift valleys. Similar processes were observed during the formation of the North Atlantic Ocean, connecting a substantial mantle plume to create new continental fault lines, separating two continental margins by seafloor spreading at mid-ocean ridges. Erda Ale is still transitioning, with the transformation into an oceanic spreading center becoming more noticeable within the next 5 million years as lava eruptions create streaks. However, this shift will occur gradually. The area indicates shallow magma storage, but a genuine ocean crust has yet to form. The future of tectonic activity in this region remains to be determined. It remains uncertain when the region will transition into an ocean spreading center, whether an ocean spreading basin will develop between the Somali and Nubian plates, and how the spreading process will occur in the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden. Geologic records indicate that the Earth was formed 4.5 billion years ago, followed by the continental crust 3.2 billion years ago, and then the creation of the continental shelf as molten rocks pushed up through the Earth's surface, eventually forming the supercontinent. Tectonic plates are constantly changing, with some sliding against each other along fault lines and others colliding. At the same time, some plates are moving apart at divergent plate boundaries, which has contributed to the formation of today's continents. Thank you for watching. Please share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe and like the video.